hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to model this battle horn in maya so to start with this uh, let's take a pipe and i'm going to rotate this then increase the height i'm going to take 40 and add some radius Turn down the thickness just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of more height. And add some subdivisions into height. So I'm going to take 20. And now let's go to deform and uh, select this lattice. Go to attribute editor in the lattice shape, change the T division to 2. Select lattice point of this end and uh, scale them down like this. Select your mesh, go to edit, delete by type history. Now to bend this, we need to use a bend modifier. So again, go to deform. In the nonlinear, select this bend. And uh, add some value in curvature. Forty-five seems fine. Now again to remove this modifier, select your mesh and go to edit, delete by type history. So the basic shape of our horn is done. Now we need to add some of these ornaments. And for that I'm going to go to face mode and uh, select these faces. Then duplicate. Now select these faces and first of all go to modify center pivot and uh, increase the thickness of these faces so just extrude them add some thickness like this and we're going to repeat the same thing here so select these faces duplicate modify center pivot and extrude now for this part what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these faces and again create duplicate modify center pivot select this edge and extrude add some thickness and then offset like this then one more time press ctrl e and extrude and this time select this gizmo here add some offset like this and some thickness then extrude one more time like this and then go to merge collapse edges and select this merge edges to center and now we are done and as for this part what we can do is we can make it a little bit smaller so i'm going to go to edge mode add an edge ring here and select half of this part 
go to face mode and select half of its faces like this and then delete and also this part now press ctrl e and uh, this time we need to intrude this like this and uh, to remove these uh, reverse normal what you can do is you can go to mesh display and select this reverse and now we are done so to add some thickness in this part what you can do is you can extrude this so add some thickness like this and we are done with our horn So our horn model is done. Now we need to unwrap this and send this to Substance Painter for protection. But before that, uh, I want to add some soft edges here. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this part and uh, isolate it. Then go to edge mode, select all these edges and then bevel. Do the same for this one and this part. and one here so this looks much better and you can also add a few segments here so select these edges and bevel and our model is finished so in the next part we are going to quickly unwrap this and uh, texture it in substance painter so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new you can also join my discord server and follow me on the instagram all the links you will find in the description so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.